bothering you? Jason, why are you such a skis? Jason, you do not come to a party at my house with Gretchen and then scam on some poor innocent girl right in front of us three days later. She's not interested. Do you want to have sex with him? Good. So it's settled. So you can go shave your back now. Bye, Jason. Wait. Sit down. Seriously, sit down. Why don't I know you? What? What? Oh, no, 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 I know what homeschool is. I'm not retarded. So you've actually never been to a real school before? Shut up. Shut up! Okay. Homeschooled. That's really interesting. But you're like really pretty. So you agree? You think you're really pretty? Oh my god, I love your bracelet. Where did you get it? It's adorable. What is fetch? Could you give us some privacy for like one second? Okay, you should just know that we don't do this a lot, so this is like a really huge deal. Coolness, so we'll see you tomorrow. 120 calories and 48 calories from fat, what percent is that? I'm only eating foods with less than 30% calories from fat. It's whatever, I'm getting cheese fries. Get in, loser, we're going shopping. No, 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 you cannot do that. That is social suicide. Damn, you are so lucky you have us to guide you. Wait, Jason's not going out with Taylor. No, he cannot blow you off like that. He's such a little skis. Give me your phone. You think I'm an idiot? Waddell on South Boulevard? Not when you connect from information. Hello, may I please speak to Taylor Waddell? Oh, this is Susan from Planned Parenthood. I have her test results. If you could have her give me a call as soon as she can. It's urgent. Thank you. She's not going out with anyone. I know, right? I'm home. Hey, Kylie. Please stop talking. It was my parents' room, but I made them trade me. Hey, put on 98.8. Katie, do you even know who sings this? I love her. She's like a Martian. These you guys can wear halters. I've got man shoulders. My pores are huge. Mom, <laughs> could you go fix your hair? Ugh, I haven't looked at that in forever. Still true. Still half true. <laughs> That's funny. Put that in there. <laughs> I know your secret. Gretchen told me that you like Aaron Samuels. I mean, I don't care, do whatever you want. But let me just tell you something about Aaron. All he cares about is school and his mom and his friends. But if you like him, whatever, I mean, I could talk to him for you if you want. Oh no, trust me, I know exactly how to play it. But wait, aren't you so mad at Gretchen for telling me? Because if you are, you can tell me. It was a really bitchy thing for her to do. See, Gretch, I told you she's not mad at you. Okay, love ya, see you tomorrow. Hey, shut up. I need to talk to you. You know that girl, Katie? Well, be careful because she has a huge crush on you. Because she told me. She tells everybody. It's kind of cute, actually. She's like a little girl. She like writes all over her notebook, Mrs. Aaron Samuels. And she made this t-shirt that says, I heart Aaron, and she wears it under all her clothes. Well, who can blame her? I mean, you're gorgeous. And okay, look, I'm not saying she's a stalker, but she saved this Kleenex you used, and she said she's gonna do some kind of African voodoo with it to make you like her. I know she's kind of socially retarded and weird, but she's my friend, so just promise me you won't make fun of her. That's crazy. Why would I break up with you? You're so hot. It's called the South Beach Fat Flush, and all you drink is cranberry juice for 72 hours. I want to lose three pounds. Why do you wear your hair like that? Your hair looks so sexy pushed back. Katie, will you please tell him his hair looks sexy pushed back? Now this cranberry juice is making me break out. Okay. <gasps> Thank you. Hey. Why are you talking to Janice Ian? <laughs> She's so pathetic. Let me tell you something about Janice Ian. We were best friends in middle school. I know, right? It's so embarrassing. I don't even, whatever. So then in eighth grade, I started going out with my first boyfriend, Kyle, who was totally gorgeous, but then he moved to Indiana. And Janice was like weirdly jealous of him. Like if I would blow her off to hang out with Kyle, she'd be like, why didn't you call me back? And I'd be like, why are you so obsessed with me? So then for my birthday party, which was an all girls pool party, I was like, Janice, I can't invite you because I think you're a lesbian. I mean, I couldn't have a lesbian at my party. There are gonna be girls there in their bathing suits. I mean, right, she was a lesbian. So then her mom called my mom and started yelling at her. It was so retarded. 
and then she dropped out of school because no one would talk to her. When she came back in the fall for high school, all of her hair was cut off and she was totally weird and now I guess she's on crack. Oh my God, I love your skirt. Where did you get it? Vintage, so adorable. That is the ugliest effing skirt I've ever seen. No, I don't send them, I just get them. <laughs> so you better send me one, biatch. Love ya. Gretchen, switch sides with Katie. Well, that was when there were three of us, and now the tallest go in the middle. And right now you're getting on my last nerve. Switch. Ah, lip gloss. Gretchen, stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen. I'm on it. Give me it. It's all in like Swedish or something. A bedroom? Fenner meme. I really want to lose three pounds. <sighs> Shut up. You have really good eyebrows. Move. Somebody told him about Shane Omen. He said some guy on the baseball team. I gave him everything. I was half a virgin when I met him. I can't go to Taco Bell. I'm on an all-carb diet. God, Karen, you are so stupid. Nobody understands me. What is happening to the world? Someone zip me up. The five. Katie, all I've been eating are these calteen bars. They suck. You know Swedish? <laughs> what does that even mean? Oh my god, I'm not mad at her. I'm worried about her. I think somebody nominated her as a joke or something. I mean, nobody votes for her. She's gonna have a total meltdown. And who's gonna have to take care of her? Me. Katie, she's not pretty. I mean, that sounds bad, but whatever. The Spring Fling Queen is always pretty. I mean, the crazy thing is, is that it should be Karen, but people forget about her because she's such a slut. Anyway, I gotta go. I'm going to bed. Let's go out. Don't invite Gretchen, she's driving me nuts. Okay, hurry up. I know, just get rid of her. Boo, you whore. Is butter a carb? So? Whatever. Those rules aren't real. Because that vest was disgusting. These sweatpants are all that fits me right now. Fine. You can walk home, bitches. No, she, she thinks she's gonna have a party and not invite me? Who does she think she is? I like invented her, you know what I mean? Oh, what is this? It's like, I can't trust anyone anymore. I'm starving. What? Mother! three girls in the whole school who aren't in it. Can I just say that we don't have a click problem at this school, and some of us shouldn't have to take this workshop because some of us are just victims in the situation? Oh my god, it's your dream come true, diving into a big pile of girls. Find out that everyone hates me? I don't care. Oh! Do you know what everyone says about you? They say that you're a homeschooled jungle freak who's a less hot version of me. Yeah. So don't try to act so innocent. You can take that fake apology and shove it right up your hairy... I'm wearing a spinal halo. Stop trying to make this about you. I'm the one that got hit by the bus. Okay. I'm going to forgive you. Because I'm a very zen person. And I'm also on a lot of pain medication right now. You know, Aaron really does like you. He was always talking about how unusual you are. He really pissed me off. It's like when I was seven, I had this really expensive dollhouse from Germany. But I never played with it, so my mom wanted to give it to my cousin. But even though I didn't want it, no, I threw it down the stairs. <laughs> I smashed it because I didn't want anyone else to have it. But that's just me. Ugh, can you believe my effing mom is here? Bye. 
Thank you.